Bell says, has hip hop caused more harm to the black community than racism? What do you think? What What are your thoughts on that, Lonzo? You know what? It it it. I'm a, I might get canceled, but don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm about to say, in some in some terms, yes, man. Hip hop has given folks a green light to do what the fuck they want to. That combined with um, uh, folks being in a position to get canceled for not accepting what people are putting down makes it difficult for for people to even uh, be a mentor. You know, you 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 try you try to do something and you got the cancel culture. Okay, you got that first and foremost. Then you, you, they try to they try to tell you. We, we, Charleston White, myself, anybody else that got any kind of uh, common sense about, hey, man, there's certain things in this game that's fucked up. And you, oh, you, you're slut-shaming. Yes, I am. I am. I am slut-shaming. Okay? Because I know that's, not, that's, not, that's nothing that no father wants for their daughter. There's nothing no father wants for their daughter. Um, I was watching a, 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 a YouTube channel this morning. Um, Charles and White was speaking, talking about sexy red. As a human being, I have been against her, neither, neither does he. But for her to promote the lifestyle that she promotes, baby, you were out there on the street, on the streets, right after you had your baby. Anybody seen your baby since you since you left the hospital? Mm. And you out here promoting sex without condoms, without whatever, without any kind of protection. Meanwhile, she kids are getting chlamydia. Huh? She just got new tits yeah. too. Priorities. And, and, she, and she's, and she's supposed to be, she still should be lactating. So how are you going to breastfeed your baby exactly. if you got brand new plastic kitties? Now, I don't know if that's a, I don't know how that works. Maybe she got some, I don't know, some milk stuck in them. I don't know. But it, it just don't seem right. Her priorities are really fucked up. But meanwhile, that, that is a person that you, that you put on the pedestal or you put out in front of our kids to give them, to, to, uh, as an example, of how to live. Come on, folks. Hey, how are we supposed to do it? But if you say something, you just, oh, yes, I am old. And that's how I got old by listening to older people and learning shit. Okay? I learned some shit and I passed it on to other folks. But people, it, it was a gap someplace. It was a gap someplace and the gap is still there and nobody is, the knowledge is not being passed on. And, and trying to tell you, oh, y'all don't know nothing because things have changed. Shit ain't changed that much. Yes, the technology, how you deliver the message has changed, but for the most part, one and one is always going to be two, and two and two is always going to be four, and, and bullshit always going to stick if you if you put your finger in it. Okay, <laughs> I don't give a damn. Bullshit is bullshit. <laughs> I love your saying. Okay, <laughs> that's fact. Bullshit always going to stick if you put your finger in it. Yeah, okay, ain't, ain't never going to smell like popcorn when you pull it out. Right, bullshit, but never smell like popcorn. Okay, so and these are the kind of things they try to change with all this technology and all this stuff we have on the access. And that's the biggest problem of anything. There's too much access, too much information for minds that are not prepared for this. Okay. You got kids that live on the phone 24 seven, if they're allowed to. Okay. Wake up with a phone in their hand, wake up a tablet in their hand, go to bed with one in their hand. And you don't know as a parent what's being in, uh, installed in your kid's mind. You have no idea. Because, you know, if everything is, is, is private now. The music is private. Videos are private. Um, you have access to kids, have access to porn and anything else. But it's a drop of a hat. Come on, man. There's no boundaries. And like I said before, when um, when I was a young blood promoter dealing with other people's kids, a few times I had been hit with the phrase uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Okay? That, is, that, don't, that, don't, that no longer exists. So kids do what the fuck they want to. Can anybody say shit to them? Can anybody say nothing about them? Law, the, the parents can't say shit. And now the fucking law can't say shit? Get the fuck out of here with that. And you wonder why shit's fucked up? Come on, man. Mm. Nah, dude. Mm. And unfortunately for us, our, uh, our music, a lot of the shit that we find um, entertaining is detrimental to our well-being. Simple as that, man. I asked the other day, man, when did, when did gang banging ever benefit anybody? i like to know when. All them bullets got fired in Chicago. Who the fuck won? Mm -hmm. Not the brother that got shot, for damn sure. Not the nine people that died. Not the 71 people that, that got shot. They didn't win shit. The people that shot them, if, 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 if when shit goes bad, somebody gonna toss your ass up. 
Somebody gonna toss you up like a damn flip, like flip on you like a pancake. Because your ass, if when it comes down to it, if 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 it comes down to it, if, I'd rather be you than me. Ain't no loyalty, ain't no uh, honor uh, honor among thieves. Mm-hmm. All this shit out the fucking window, man. So why why play a game that nobody's winning? And that's what I, that's what I've been saying for decades. Everybody wants to be in the game, but ain't no rules to the game. The rules the rules they did have they didn't change. They didn't uh, they didn't erase bloods hate bloods, crips hate crips. Everybody fighting everybody, so there's no reason to be a part of anything because there is no no benefit other than the little click that you run with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you mentioned a name that I would love to discuss for a bit. Um, I'm noticing a lot of black folks who used to hate Charleston White are now agreeing with a lot of what he says. And I say that because I just interviewed a guy yesterday on my show who has been on my show in the past. And two years ago, he literally told me he wants to beat the shit out of Charleston White. If I see Charleston White, I'm going to whoop his ass. He's a piece of shit, this, this, and that. Well, yesterday we talked and I brought up Charleston White and I said, where do you stand with him today? And he totally surprised me. He says, I've been completely wrong about Charleston White. Most of the shit he, he was saying that I was mad at ended up being true. What do you think about that? Dude, only thing about Charleston White that is, I'm going to say kind of fucked up in the delivery, but I understand his right. delivery. Okay? He, he has to deliver it in a fucked up way to get their attention. Okay? He comes off as raw and as disrespectful as they do. Uh, I can't do what he does the way he does it because I'm, I have a different perspective. I, I agree with a lot of what he says, but I'm not trying to get into tussles with no young ass niggas behind my opinion. Okay, my opinion is the grown ass man would never change because I'm, I'm, I'm coming from a different operating system. But I stand with Charles White on a lot of things that he says. I can't stand. I can't stand with him on the way that he says it. He's an antagonist. Okay, he's an antagonist, and sometimes an antagonist you will be mad at them first, but then you realize, hmm. If it, when you pull away from it and back up, hey, that dude did have a point. That is some true shit. But because he said it so foul, you mad at what he said, how he said it, not what he said. And that's the part with the, with the message that um, it, it makes it a little difficult for some people to swallow. You're never mad at what he said. You're more pissed off at how he said it. And that's where uh, he and I differ. Right. And that's exactly what Homeboy said. He said he understands that he had to come out with the bullshit to get people to pay attention. I've said, told this before. I interviewed Charleston White back in 2019 before the pandemic, before he was even blown up, before all the Nipsey Hustle stuff, before he started mm-hmm. going crazy. And the Charleston White I talked to in 2019 